Hey guys, good evening from Malaysia. It's almost midnight. And before I going to sleep, I'm gonna make the video for you about the Adobe XD for the mobile UI design. So I prepare one image, the unique image that I got from Pinterest. And this is icon that I got from flaticon.com. Now we're going to design the Android user interface design and perhaps that we can implement that design by either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow so right now just focus on the design so we choose the android mobile all right and i will give the name here which is the event the time and going to save this as the event the time okay so as i mentioned before that i prepare one image so that's why i have to prepare the placeholder of the image just put like this this is for the image uh, we call that the event image okay and change the color to see what happens for the placeholder okay nice all right so we have to load the image to come here how do we do that hmm I think we can drag and drop yeah there you go you got the image like this right and little zoom in to make it more detailed for the tutorial and after that that we can uh, change the background color with the different color I think that we can use this one uh, F A F C and F F the hex code as you can see right here so then after that we can uh, we can make another layout here just like this and I think we have to make it wider okay we keep at 328 okay oops all right so here without any border setting the radius to become egg and then I think that we're gonna make it bigger like this yeah cool and we need the shadow of this layout so that's why I think uh, we have to play the shadow right here blur is 15 and the opacity it becomes maybe uh, 15 yeah that's enough I think we have to make it uh, 10 how do we make okay stick with the 10 percent of the opacity okay and then we have to prepare uh, the icon right here so first of all this is that we gonna make in the Android Studio but I think that I'm not able to implement this layout to the Android Studio so that's why that we have to change this layer name to become big G event detail because I will upload as the uh, PNG uh, rather than we make from drawable okay so right here we put an uh, oval just like this alright and we group as um, maybe uh, icon event okay and change the color to become linear so we have the the image that provide you pink blue and purple so we have to choose which color that matching with this design so let's stick with the blue one Uh, it doesn't matter uh, how much I love blue is but I think since this oval uh, above of this pink color I think we can use blue to make it a uh, difference okay yeah nice right and just copy or you can use command D to duplicate and make it small 
and keep at the uh, below of the ellipse and play the shadow 15 and the opacity it have to be like this with the color is blue okay and I think that the opacity have to be mm, softer perhaps 60 yeah that's enough so it will affect the design as well even just small things you know and we need the icon right here that why don't we copy and paste here and make it small and put right here cool amazing yeah you did it nice yeah we did it nice and so let's continue to the uh, another things so in the event detail that we have to put uh, we have to group it as the event detail and then inside of the group we can put the title of event host uh, host what <laughs> host conference host file okay host file <laughs> Yeah, since I use uh, Android, so you have to use Roboto as the system phone. And for the color, we can keep the black one is 4E, 4E, and 4E. Alright. And then uh, after that, we give like here 24. Okay. And we have to duplicate this as the description. We keep it to 14 okay and change the color like this i'm gonna make it a uh, like okay and here you can text anything that you want uh event is about to show you the showcase of the house that colors that full color it might be your next inspiration of design okay just like that yeah you know and increase the uh, the length height to become 20 okay and I think the margin left supposed to be 16 cool and the margin top uh, keep with the 8 pixel and right here uh, I want to give the date of the event so just copy uh, just duplicate this and change to become Jan sorry 022 22 is 22 <laughs> yeah so here you can put 16 with the bolt okay uh, sorry just keep with the regular and the color that we can use from our color which is blue okay and right here uh, before uh, we have to create the another rectangle just like this no it's not the button it's like the the date okay that remove the fill color and keep the border with the blue color and setting the radius to become egg. Okay. Oh, I think uh, the radius is supposed to be four. Okay, yeah, that looks nice, right? And in the, in the rectangle that we can use blue, but make it softer, you know. Yeah, just like this. Yeah, looks cool, right? And we have to make it bigger like this. Oh, we have to put uh, maybe uh, 200. Yeah, 200. Cool. Now, the last one is uh, we need the button for the CTA. But first of all, we have to put this and this one 0 0.2 okay. 
and yeah we put the button here but I guess that there's not enough so how do we do that it's pretty easy in the event image we're gonna make it smaller yeah smaller like this and we move everything right here oops icon event and event the tab we move okay like this right okay and select the event image again and put like this okay and we need one button here to buy the ticket or to see the direction perhaps so so what we're gonna do is right let me make it a uh, pixel perfect okay and yeah we create from rectangle just like this okay and we group it as the btn direction yeah because most of people that they, they don't know the direction the exactly direction so that's why we will use uh, we will provide the button for direction and I think that I can copy paste this uh, linear gradient you know just uh, make it uh, just copy paste the linear gradient and this one okay cool now we select this button and then we are using the linear gradient so the first color have to be blue and the second is soft blue okay and don't forget to make the shadow so we're gonna duplicate and select the rectangle tool and then you have to move to the middle like this okay and give the shadow to 15 and we take from this color and make it smooth okay nice okay you know that we have to put the label here get direction Oops. <laughs> Yeah, get the direction. Sorry. And then we put with the a white color. And it's supposed to be like this. Okay, cool. Mm, what about if we change to become get a direction? We make it to middle like this. Oh, it's not really nice. I think that we can just uh, get a direction here. Yeah, I'm sorry. Just put right here. Okay. And then we select this get direction and copy. And we move to the event image. And this is for the title of the the screen so this is for the event the tiles you know yeah so sometimes we have to put the title as well okay and to make it more clearer what about if in the text details we have to put the shadow maybe 15 yeah like this i think the blur should be three uh, four and then apply the opacity and the y should be one and apply the opacity again yeah you see that so it's clearer for user right and in the host file Yeah, just make it uh, capital, you know. Yeah, so this is the design of event details that perhaps we can continue in the next video for implementing this design in the Android Studio. So, 
stay tuned at my channel don't forget to like and comment and share with your friends maybe they need this tutorial who knows and nice to meet you from indonesia see you guys in the next video